Hello Chickadees! My name is Zero Teal and welcome to The Crown of Leaves, a very special game that I have been actually watching like a hawk. Gah! Like a freaking hawk! Because this is a, a game that's been made by an artist that I actually really enjoy uh, seeing their illustrations, their artwork, it's so pretty. You can even tell from the intro or like the beginning screen of this that it's very pretty. They've gotten, I think, maybe two or three people. I can't remember. There's a huge crew that makes this game. But this is also like a Dutch game, which I was actually confused at first, like how to retranslate in this English, because I would not be able to play this. But this is, I think they made it into an English version because I really want to play it. I've seen cover art of this uh, this game. I've seen the small little, like little snippets of the game in this, and it's so pretty. And I just need to shut up and start a new game. Yes, I need to just play this because it's so cool. So, uh, hello, my name is Rui was born in Latchery, I'm sure you're already familiar with this land of superstitious gypsies where every second is a winemaker, a farmer, or a lousy magician. But I've always wanted something more. After finishing school, I moved to another country to enroll at their Institute of Arts. I wanted to become a jeweler, but... After studying for only a brief time, I got really bored. The voice acting the new is life that opened so up from outside the Institute was much better and full of intriguing prospects. I was so carried away by the country's world of mysticism and ciphers that, oh, I simply couldn't think of anything else. I lost myself in spending weeks at the library, deciphering uh, various historical riddles just for my pleasure. <laughs> Soon after, I quit the Institute. I made new friends, and I found a job. I was writing for the Paranormal Patrol newspaper and looking oh. for material for my articles. During these 10 years, I became a recognized writer. However, I, I came into contact with the local mafia without realizing who it was I was dealing with. Oops. I had to give up everything and go back to my homeland and become a nobody again. I picked up my old jeweler's <laughs> tools once more and I started my life anew. I was fortunate to find myself a high-paying customer soon after, the Black Baron. Yeah. His sister, by the way, is running our country, and the bracelet that I was going to make the Baron was for his bride. He gave me an extremely expensive and difficult material to work with. Oh, if only I had known the troubles that were already waiting for me here. I've seen the illustrations and pictures of some of the characters in this characters, and especially that guy. So cool. Again, I I really love like you can tell. It's like this got this old vintage kind of a feel and it's got like these really cool creatures in them. I'm I just really, really excited to see when this game this game is also greenlit. So if you really want to see the production of this, I really highly really highly recommend this if you're actually enjoying this right now. I'm busy. I said I'm busy! Serban, if that's you, please come in. Didn't you hear? I said no! Hmm. I said I'm busy. I don't know who he's replying to. I probably someone in the background that you can probably hear. I'll repeat myself once more for the deaf. I am busy. Very busy. Can I stay in here? I'm tired of listening to their silly chatter. Mindscape updated Serban. Oh, hey! So that's, I guess that's how we know we know a new character. They're like two jackdaws screaming, screaming and repeating the same thing every day. They smoke a lot. It smells terrible. Sure, Serban. And there's no fresh air left <laughs> inside where they live. Seems I have no choice. Come in, but don't bother me. I despise that. Mm-hmm. Fine. Is he working on his jewelry? See, I made a blank. It looks a bit, well, I don't want to be rude, but boring. That's because it's blank. Stop doing, oh, because he is trying to, I guess, doing something. He's working. He is busy. He's working on some, making some jewelry or something. Why should I off be offended? I'm thinking of the same thing. Well, it's, it's because it's blank. I'm still working on it. Uh, that's because it's blank, silly. Maybe I tell you the truth. I'm afraid that the Black Baron won't like these results. That's why this work is suspended for now. I want to impress him more than you know. Oh, that's because he's making the ring. Yeah. Imagine. Oh, jeez. Imagine. Give him the bracelets. He'll look over and then he'll squeal like a girl and like scream. God, this is art. <laughs> Better than that, he'll draw me in money. Oh, I could tell your personality already. Will he squeal? If only you could. <laughs> the people in the background. If only you could he see him. He's an enthusiastic and a kind man and quite rich. 
and will he make the coolest jewelry in Latori? No, perhaps you'll become his personal jeweler and even younger Baron. It'd be so cool. He might even give you your own personal workshop, huh? Well, actually, I don't want to be a jeweler. I have other plans. Really? There now? Now? Really? Well, could you ask for a workshop at least? Give it to me if you don't want to need it. You're asking for too much, kid. Now's not the time to talk about this. Also, why is the order so expensive? You're making a bracelet out of ordinary wood. Oh, so a bracelet, not a ring. It's not gold or silver. Myscape updated Maroak. You know the wood of that black bear and gave me is a quite rare. This is this here is Maroak. I don't near oak? I don't know how it's pronounced. Oh man, their expression in this is so cool. The tree it originates from is found hardly anywhere due to its high demand. Such wood is used extensively in rituals, and it is heavily sought for after by the mystics and other names near do wells. Now, do you what kind of ritual the baron is going to perform? Suck so, and sacrifice? His wedding, Peanut! He's going to give his bride a bracelet honed for the marrow oak to ensue his everything goes off with a hitch. Yeah, with a very expensive and very rare piece of material. This is so stupid! Killing rare trees is from Baron's stupid wedding! Yeah, I know, I feel the same way. Or you can find a tree stump. He doesn't have to cut down a whole tree just for one bracelet. Calm down, Sarbin, the wedding is going to make me wealthy. It's just a single rare tree. Uh, you're right, but a commission is a commission. A commission is a commission, but you can turn down a commission sometimes, depending on the situation. It's, well, see, seeing his personality, it, he loves the rich and wealthy, so yeah. Now, hey, now hold on your fire. The stupid wailing is here. I'm set up for life. <laughs> Quiet down! I'm, I'm argumenting about something. No, what the? Oh, shit. Oh, come on. No! Ladies, would you please keep your voices down? I'm trying to work here! Useless, they don't even hear you. Oh, now you're sitting down. Those two women, they're so insufferable. I can ask them to get their going and do something, but I doubt they'll even bother. Oh, this is cool, the interaction in this. What is this? Antiquity's third album. Oh, music. Critics said that it's not quite up to her usual level, but nah, they're just idiots. I have a huge record collection. It's a pity there's no grand gramophone here. I hate working with some good music, without some good music. Oh, man. I mean, if you have a disc, you should get a gramophone. Ooh, constellations? Whoa! Tassari constellations are so cool! I hope no one heard me. <laughs> that really scared me, but that was really good. Ukulele. Ukulele. A ukulele is a gift from Laszlo. <laughs> Brushes, acrylic, oil, solvent. My dear friends, you'll help me become extremely rich. See, that is like his his personality, so I might have made a good choice on that. I don't know. It's murmury. I wish things had turned out differently between you and I. Oh. Someone. Hoping it does get better. Oh. It's so cute. It's like, it looks like a Capricorn. It's got a fish and it's a goat donkey thing. Serban's old toy has been lying here forever and it's covered in dust. His name is Glashton, another mythical hero from some lo wild local legend. Aw, take it. Don't touch it. <laughs> uh, okay. Aw, oh, no. Oh, that's so cool though. My mom, my mom used my money to buy this lamp for me as a gift. Your money? It has a pink light. How cute. I drew this when I was 15. Actually, I hate looking at my old drawings when I still love this new one, though. Yeah, you feel that as an artist. Like, you look at your very old artist like, Ugh. I mean, I, I done better. I mean, that looks a lot better. And you look at your new art it's like, ah. Oh, God, that old Naruto art. Get it away. <laughs> looks gloomy. <laughs> Oh, there's another stuffed animal. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of horses involved with this in the donkey in the corner. A horse with purple eyes all over his body. Unicorns are a common Latori, but you will find a fine beast as fine as this one here. It's a Karkadan, a kind of mythical creature. He looks unfriendly, but I like him anyways. Um, I want to take this one. Yeah, I put him in my inventory. If I can, is there an inventory? I don't know what this is. Ah, inventory. Yeah, there he is. Nice. Oh, Cartoon figure is covered in eyes and looks very harsh. A collectible item. Ooh, 
cool, I can get that Mindscape. Oh, okay, that just brings up to that. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, the characters, yeah! I, again, if I can't pronounce them, then I apologize. Ru, Rui, Serbin. My cousin's surprisingly mature at such a young age. Calm and silent kid, although he may be annoying sometimes. Mer Oak, this is the material that we're using for the bracelet. D23? Hmm. Merrick is a king among crafting materials. Very rare in Capricus when working with, and also insanely expensive. Almost all mare oak groves were cut down about a half a century ago, and I've never seen those trees by my own eyes. But from the guide that I know, what does look like they're small frozen willows with sad blue crowns. The trunk is made of transparent resin, and the real wood is hidden inside. This is a heart of mare oak. And yes, it looks exactly like a heart of a living creature. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, jewelers are made from it, and then mystics use them as many different rituals. Sometimes for weddings, sometimes for funerals. They say Mara Oak possesses a truly strong magic, almost like a tesori. But I'm not a mystic myself, so I won't even try to imagine what it's all about. The Mara Oak, which heart is in my hands now, used to grow at the Black Baron's garden. Well, not anymore. Wow, that's really interesting. The world of Tesori, also known as simply immortals, some believe they're gods, others they are spirits. Largely everyone worships them and asks for their protection. I saw some marine Tesori myself, which I guess the fish goat thing, when I was living in Nori, and I won't lie, they made a huge impression on me. The ones that who truly know the magic is, is such a pretty as almost impossible to meet the Tesori and Latori. All Tesori live in flat stream, and all our ways there is close to them. Tesori only occasionally appear in the stream or on the borderline between our war our worlds. But in Nori, flat stream passes very close to their capital in the sea. That said, if you walk along the beach for a couple of days, equipped with the binoculars like I did, well, it was unique. Unfortunately, I forgot the camera and left it at home. Interesting. Horses. That's the yeah, the little thing that we just picked up into our inventory. How about we kind of look a little bit, little bit more exploring before we talk to Sor Sobri, if I remember correctly? This is Richard, and he wants to eat. Oh, the plant! His name is Richard. Or drink, or to be precise, I look after him. Well, I mean, glad he's, glad he's still living. This is a powerful uh, artifact, depriving me of sleep, appetite, and then will to the live. Well, I never truly finished the commission. Sorry, I'm just looking at items. Don't yell at me. He's going all fourth wall breaking on me. My working table. Well, it's highly uncomfortable. It looks very small in this space. I mean, it looks small in this view, so maybe it's a lot bigger to him than what it looks like where I'm standing. Note one, forget about R, and never again, too expensive. W what was that? No idea. Some kind of notes and tips you left for yourself that I have no clue. Get eggs and butter, and a pack of wolves. No, I didn't add that to my grocery list. Wow, it's a kettle, and I have forgotten all about it. Why haven't I used it? Ew, mold, it's everywhere. Well, maybe because you don't have a stove top. I don't know. Tell me. All right, what happened to your eye? How's your brother, huh? Don't ask anything. Mm, how's your brother? I'd rather not ask about his eye. Probably he already knows. How's your brother, huh? Not bad, I guess. He's enjoying a life of doing almost nothing, and he never has time for me. Yet somehow he found a new girlfriend. Um. Alright, you know what? I'll just do it. I'll just jump the gun. So, how's your eye doing? What about it? Don't answer the question with a question. I don't want to know what you're getting or better or not. I'm not sick. When will you take off that eye patch? Why should I do that? Uh, um, so you can see? So you can actually s know if your eye's getting better? Ah, uh, I forgot that you just got back and haven't heard about this. I was walking through the woods and slipped on the ground, and there was a sharp rock or maybe a twig. Ugh. I lost my eye. Oh, so it's not going to get better. And it would have been better if I leave this patch over it. Ugh. Yeah. Same, same exact thing. Okay, I'm going to go into the dining room and calm down those those chicken ladies. Quiet down and stop clucking over here. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, look at their fancy dress. Just look at him guiding as a peacock. Think he's an urban dandy coming here to flirt with the gypsy girls. Don't judge him so harshly, Bree. He's always been a sweetie. Just like his Uncle Romy and a Romy sister. I don't remember her name. That's 
that's enough, Emeril. It's obvious that you spoil him as a child. He's stupid and lazy because you didn't even teach him at the volume of the working hard. Now, and I should thank you. He lives with a family where everything is done for him. He doesn't even have the thing to work it out. <clears throat> Brilla! What? Hi! I'm here to shh, quiet you down. Would you stop? I have put. Well, have I put you in an awkward position? This music. <laughs> Me in an awkward position. I owe you my own house. I'll give an awkward bend. I'll give you an awkward bend myself, idiot, if you keep speaking to me in that manner. Rui, my dear, what's the matter? Would you please speak quietly? <laughs> yeah, um, nothing special. Everything is fine. It would be great if you were silent for a while. Uh, I have some work. So please. I should have had a please in there, but there's no please. Just shut up for the next couple of hours. Why do you start packing your stuff, Jack? Oh, really? In your dreams, Brilla. I'm not leaving until the order is finished, and until then, you'll just have to put up with me. When did you decide to add the boss? Please tell me when did you find this Erdogan's boy? You pretend to be a st scholar and intellectual, but who are you really? You didn't even finish your degree at the Institute. Hey, you know, I'm smart. All you do now is take orders for earrings and bracelets. Does the fact that I'm taking orders for real money mean anything to you? <gasps> Snap! If only that money was used sensibly. Uh, you still haven't paid me your last debt, and you're on your fifth, sixth loan already. I, I borrowed twice. From me, yes, and then you dared to borrow another for your mother. I almost forgot I have some unfinished work elsewhere. No, don't leave me. Er, uh, Mom. Sorry, dear, I'll leave you two for now. So that's Mom? Okay. Why don't you make yourself scarce as well? Yeah, sure. Bye. Well, that went peachy. My room. Or to the hill camp. I already went to my room. I sure work on the commission, but let me just kind of check out. Whoa! Jeez, jerking all around. Vander, hi, you're my friend. I was making my way towards your house. And funny to mention that I was just getting out of the house. There's nothing to do there. Brilla is in a bad mood today, as usual. Also, hi. How are you doing? No, Brilla's the reason why I'm here. I need to talk to you. Could you... Could you help me? What? I need help. Help you? Why? Wait, let me guess. Something's happened with your, uh, babes. <sighs> I'm not skilled in that baton batoni. Ba botany. So you've come to the wrong person. If that's the case, Mom and Brilla are the right ones to approach regarding that. No, no, no. Brilla, it's about her garden. You understand? If she finds out, she... she will... What'd you do in her hard garden? Did you mash up the potatoes when you're not supposed to? They're supposed to go in a pot first before you start doing that. Mmm, she must know you're working for her. Eww. She would kill you. What is her tea bags hanging on his staff? That's interesting. I'll just brew my tea over with my staff. Um... You are working for her, I mean... Uh... Uh, yeah? Just tell Brilla the truth. She'll get over it. She might stop paying you or simply kick you out of the job. But it's nothing to be sad about. It's better that being him humu humu hum humiliated. <laughs> I'm trying to read. That was a really hard word to read for some reason. Trying to please her. She'll never be fully satisfied with her way. Anyway, sorry, I had an apple. Oh, that sounds very unpleasant. And to be honest, thinking about it, it hurts a great deal. I don't care if she pays me or not, but if she fires me, I... It, it doesn't matter now. My greenhouse is there. Please help me to get rid of those... Th th thing. I still can't get what you're talking about. Where is your greenhouse located exactly? On the lake, near the abandoned manor. Hurry up! Okay, I'm coming. Whoa. That's a bit of a jump. Oh, nice. Look at the camp that we're at. My mother won this in a carpenter car game. It has grease stains all over it. Disgusting. And why do I keep the feeling that it's such a large carpet won't fit in your small vardo? Huh. Shovels, size, hose, tools for those who decide to dedicate their lives to the earth. And to the paprika, of course. A royal throne with a flower, flowing flower print. Uh, that's... Oh, that must be the house we just uh, got out of. Okay, so... The Vardo isn't behind us, it's on the side of us. Okay, which way did he go to, though? Did he go to the right side? Bulletin board. Okay. Just a tent, a warehouse for boxes and crates. I'm more interested in those old stones. I heard there was a fort and maybe an ancient temple here. It's a pity there isn't anything left of it. 
Uh, oh, he said to the lake. That's right. Well, I mean, this isn't a place to go, right? No, I think it's the way to the Goblin Cafe. I'll head there later. Yeah, we need to get to the lake and help, um... Ooh. Hey, look at the babes in the water. Where is he, though? Is it down here? To oh, to the greenhouse. I'm just gonna go straight to the greenhouse. He needs my... Van Deer needs my attention more. It's good that you came. He needed me in a hurry. It's over here, near the wall. What is it? Looks like a ram standing in the bushes. A new addition to your collection? This is the reason why we're here. I'll explain. You'll see the Mad Rook week just started and it became this target this year among others. I would still bet that it was Brilla's competitors who did this. Grub, and stop believing fairy tales. Okay, let's see what it is. So-called Mad Rook. So he got there through the window, right? Or the Mad Rook doesn't have to climb out through the windows. Maybe he sent some spirits and they... No, I think this is nonsense. I agree, your version sounds implausible. I mean, the Rook. Wait, you don't believe the Mad Rook, do you? That's just strange. He's real. Look, we have immortals among us, but the Mad Rook is a fictional spirit from the Victorian legends. You believe... You can live in the world of magic and believe in the divination via body hair at the same time. By the way, people often get caught up all in this. Then how would you explain how that plant from Flashstream got here? Flashstream is dangerous for mortals, so none of them venture there. Wait, what? It's a Flashstream plant? I'm sorry, I should have told you earlier. It's a veg plant. It's a veg lamb. Ah, hence the wool that it looks like. The thing in the back, if that's what actually what I'm looking at. It grows just one night and devours every other green thing it finds. But in the mortal world, its life is rather short. So right after its meal, it dies. It began with this wonderful paprika I planted especially for the precious brilla, and now it's killing the barberry and the roses, and my babies are dying. Whoa. Okay, so I have an option. Do I want to cut it down or dig it out? Vigilam won't stand against an axe in the end. It's only a plant. Let's save our garden from this mystical parasite without any necessary violence. I mean, if I dig it out, it might come back. It's roots. I mean, it's the same thing with cutting it down. I think digging it out, maybe putting it in a separate pot so it doesn't go somewhere? But that's the thing too, it might go actually somewhere. It could pollinate, it's a plant, it's a mystical thing. It, should, it could just walk out of the plant box and just go its hunky daisy like in a little shelf of horrors. Or it could be cut down and just get done and out of the way. Shoot, well, I guess if it's not too rare, I'm just gonna cut it down. If he's not wanting to keep it, then it's gone. If nobody else wants it, then really it doesn't because it eats everything it sees. Why don't you just cut the thing down? It wouldn't take that much time. And then what? I don't know, just throw it in the lake. Yes, that's my plan. Well, I've helped you. Can I go now? Um, you did, but you see, I can't bring it to myself to do this. Why not? Don't you have an axe with you? No, I have one, but I mean, I the vigilant, it's alive. Sure, it's murder, but if I could do it then- Yeah, I knew you would say that. Why do you have to ask me? That's why I asked you for help, because I can't do it myself. It's a plant! I'm sorry, I hate it when my plants die too. I'm looking at my pretty plants in the corner, but, um, I mean, he's kind of startled. Really? You've called me just on this way to cut this goddamn tree and weed? Ryu, you know me, I can't hurt a plant. It, even this vigilant. Come on, man. The mere idea is just horrible. You see plants die every day. You go outside, you see a freaking weed on the dandelion on the ground, and you gotta take care of it. For crying out loud, Vander. Ugh, fine, I'll do this. Give me an axe. One more thing. Could you please use another axe? Not mine. There'll be blood on it. Otherwise, I mean, the sap. W what? You can't believe this. You'll have to wait because I don't have axes in my pockets. Well then, maybe I should have dug it out. Oh yeah, that is the thing. It's not moving. Despite the fact it's just a bush, I'd rather find it creepy. Yeah. Let me go f ask the people in the lake. Hey, do you have an axe? No? Okay. <laughs> yeah, making small little jokes here and there. There aren't many plants here as I expected. Nothing in blooms except the paprika. And it looks sick. Anyway. Looks like this veg lamb had a good meal. And it's sad to see the place like this, all the hard work done in vain. Vander is a strange guy in some ways, but he doesn't even deserve this. The windows are huge, but there's almost no glass to them. Vander isn't really worried about the own safety. There's nobody that really comes in here besides the birds. 
And the Mad Rook, of course. I think I just looked over at the time right now, and I didn't expect this, actually, demo of the game to go this long. Yes, it is a demo. I don't know if I said it in the beginning of the game, but that's something I tend to forget, and I apologize. But this is a demo of the game, because it is green light and Steam. I did Again, I didn't know this demo would uh, this game would last a little bit longer so i might actually make this into a two-part series i can leave it here and then we'll see what kind of goes off for the next area it will save at this buy i believe hopefully if it's not then i'll just come back to it because it seems like simple enough kind of thing but thank you so much for watching everybody if you like this video go ahead and give it a punch and i'll see you guys in the next video see ya actually growing habanero plants. Ugh, that's spicy. I would not do a habanero challenge. Don't ask me.